Hi XLRs, today I'm going to show you how to insert a blank row uh, in every other row of your data set. This is something I get asked about quite a lot. Users seem to use it a lot and I'm going to show you how to do this without formulas, without macros. You don't need to write any code. Um, really simple method of doing this, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is, if your data is in column A, you need to insert a new column because we're going to use because we're going to use the first column as a helper column. Now my data starts in column B, so I don't need to do that. And the first thing we need to do is just type one in the first row of our data. We then can highlight down to row 16, where our data ends. You could have 10,000 lines, 20,000 lines, but you can also use control shift and the down arrow to select your column of data. Then what we want to do is use the fill series so in the home tab go along to editing click fill start value is one and our stop value is 14 we have we have 14 rows in our data set hit ok and there excel pre-fills that in for us the next thing we want to do is just copy this fill series you can hit Control c and Control v and what it'll do, it will duplicate your fill series. And we're going to use this fill series here to insert our blank rows. Select, select our data, minus the headings. Home, go to the Home tab, uh, the Editing group, click Sort and Filter, and sort smallest to largest. There we go. We've inserted a blank line under each of our data rows. We can then just clear the contents of the helper row and you're all set up with your blank lines. So that's a really easy way without any macros or any code or any formulas to insert blank rows. I hope you like that Excel tip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you again for another How to Excel at Excel video.